Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. Yeah, let's just take that plant off. Where did I... <laughs> Where did I... What did I just take off my nightstand? Did I have something weird on my nightstand? Did I put... Oh, it was pineapple. Right, I put a pineapple there. Oh my gosh. All right, let's... Well, that's a good start. Let's start off with a state of confusion. That seems about right. Where, where am I? Why is everybody all pixelated? Good morning, kids. Yeah, this is how life goes. It's just a steady uh, series of this. All right, so we've got ourselves some good uh, good things going on here. Oh, yeah, Marlon found us again 3 a.m. Oh, what does somebody else have to say? Oh, Clint uh, gave us an iron bar. Thanks, Clint. That was very thoughtful of him. Okay, I'm going to get a cup of coffee. And I'm going to get uh, some of my crab cakes. And we're going to go say hello. It's a lot more peaceful than my old spot in town. Very happy here. All right, and you're like, sorry, no hugsies. I'm a little bit occupied here. So, you know. All right, that's cool. That's cool. All right, we'll come and get our loot. Now, we were getting processing a lot of, like, the eggs and stuff. Um... And I'm getting close to being ready, I think, to do um, processing of the uh, the the uh, clothing. Um, I was trying to make a little bit more cloth. Um, I don't have like 150 things there. Uh, that should be pretty good. I, there, you never have enough. I feel like I'm always going to be like, oh, I could have used another 7,000 because that's that's realistically how much of everything I feel like you need in this game yeah and at this point I think I'm just going to then go through I you know I tried to make some of the stuff I was missing I, I don't think I'm gonna go through and worry too much about the remaining amounts of inventory I think I could go um, a loony doing that there's so much <laughs> Definitely don't want to put jam in those machines. That's how you jam them up. Um, and that's that's what this channel is all about, is just terrible puns. Okay, there, little one. Uh, let's give... Oh, oh, well, decide where you want to go. Like, I'll go up here if that's what you want, but it, like, skadoodle. skadoodly noodly Hello, critters. Good morning. Hey, big bird. You want in there? Like my all my eggs, you monster! You have all of my eggs. I do. I have all of your eggs. This is I know. I I don't like it either. Not a huge fan. So the uh, very recently, uh, I went with my daughter to watch uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three, which it was it was great because uh, we had a, we were able to go in the middle of the week in an afternoon. There was a weird thing, and so we we went. It was uh, us and uh, an old couple um, by, I mean, like, like 60, 70. They were very, you know, they were older and uh, older than me, at least. How about that? Uh, and they uh, didn't like it, I guess, or whatever, for whatever reason. I, who, who knows what it, it could have been, you know, any manner of things that led to them not uh, staying. So they chose not to stay. And so it was literally just my daughter and I in an entire theater, uh, which was kind of cool. It was like we just had the entire place to ourselves. You know, it was it was a delight. It was a really fun experience to uh, just be able to sit there and uh, have the whole place to ourselves. That was cool, kind of neat. Um, but then, uh, okay, just as I'm doing this, let me stop. Let me think. Okay, that's all looking good. Yeah, we've got all of that. Um, it was a good movie. I enjoyed it quite a lot. I would say I, I think it was probably the first Guardians was the first kind of superhero hero movie that we watched with them, but I think they really enjoyed that one. It uh, it was funny and it was still for I, it still sat as like one of the better ones I had seen of all of them. <laughs> like really, I. I, I, the superhero movies have, you know, I've had mixed feelings about them all. And I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, the Guardians one still stands out. Uh, Guardians, the third one, 
really well done. I'm, you know, I'm not a huge Chris Pratt fan. I'm sorry, everyone who is not knocking your choice in Pratt Prattiness, but I'm uh, not a huge. He's okay. He's okay. Um, I, I wasn't in, even in Parks and Rec, I was a Nick Offerman kind of person, or uh, even uh, Aziz or any of the other John Paul. All those weird characters I enjoyed more. Uh, but at any rate, he, uh, zany as he is, he was, uh, he was kind of what wasn't all about him, which was kind of nice. But ultimately, without spoilers, um, I, I found it interesting that I walked out of that going, that was A, not at all what I expected, and B, it was, um, perhaps a better statement on, um, uh, animal rights than I've, uh, ever seen in a movie. And, you know, especially a movie that's kind of, like, going to be theoretically kind of lighthearted. It was a shockingly um, serious movie in many ways, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, that was kind of cool. So it, it actually had quite a lot to say, I think, about, uh, about animal rights. Um, and I think because it wasn't messaging, because it wasn't trying to, it uh, it just did it without being kind of self-conscious about it, and it just it had a statement. Uh, I don't know, it just made it anyway. It was it was interesting that in that way. So uh, yeah, I think it was probably one of the best Hollywood eyes things, uh, probably almost in general that I've seen. That is like a really good cinematic statement about uh, animal rights. Um, you know, it, it has a weird coda at the end, or whatever you call it, where kind of an epilogue. Uh, where they maybe it goes against that, and I don't know if that was a conscious attempt to maybe be, uh, sort of mitigate that a little bit. I don't even know. It was a weird thing, but uh, all told, anyway, it was a, it was a surprisingly touching movie. It was very nice. Uh, it had a lot of very sad moments and you know very funny moments, and I thought overall very well done. So I, I don't imagine that uh, my review matters much to make anybody go. If you're gonna go, you're gonna go, but. Okay, I guess some star fruit came up, huh? <laughs> Alright, we got we got some star fruit if we want it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that now. Um, but at any rate, it was uh yeah, I thought really uh it was it was nicely done. So there we go, that's my uh my two minute review. No, it was it was a cool experience. It was neat getting to go and watch I think what was one of the better Marvel movies that we've seen up to this point. Uh to get to watch it in the circumstances that we watched it and to, you know, kind of have, yeah, it was just, it was a fun thing. Um, yeah, like I'm down to 1700 pineapples. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I was trying to think of what is it. I think it is probably one of my favorite Marvel movies. Yeah, it it wasn't not just because of the messaging, but because overall, those movies have a good way of doing. They have a good tone um, that's enjoyable, and they know how to be fun without being too self serious. I think that's a maybe a uh, a bit of a problem with superhero movies in general that they do tend to be a little too self serious. Uh, they're almost like a bit like somebody that's sort of vain and self-absorbed. I feel like that's kind of a thing that the, the superhero genre suffers from just as a thing. It's like a personality flaw. <laughs> I know that's not entirely fair, but uh, it's, yeah, it's a thing that I, they're not generally, still not my favorite, despite the number I've seen in the past few years here. <laughs> not my favorite genre. But it was, uh, out of all of those, it was actually just good as a movie, I think. And I think that was maybe what, you know, I felt the first time we saw the first Guardians. I actually thought it was just genuinely quite enjoyable as a movie, not just as a superhero movie. I didn't really think of it in those terms. Um, but, yeah. So I think uh, and the, the, they, they maintained that, I think. They kept that kind of level of um, being outside of the genre a little bit. All right, 761. Um, yeah, I, uh, one, one thing is uh, I definitely I find weird, and I again, I, I haven't thought this one out, so take it with a grain of salt. Um, 
the number of people of color that have uh, roles as antagonists. I found that weird because I was just we last one we watched was the match uh, madness one, whatever. Uh, no, 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 Quantumania, where Krang is uh, the bad guy or whatever his name is. And then this one, you've got the other, the the emperor of the universe dude who does stuff. <laughs> Science man. I don't even know. Um, but outside of, you know, Black Panther, I hope we see more, like, diversity in the heroes and stuff as well. I mean, we see a little bit, but often, I guess, you know... That series is an older one, so it's not like it's new to the uh, the franchise or the whole the whole game. Whereas I think now we're probably doing a better job, which is good. I was just I'm always now I think it's hard to watch the movies. Uh, do I have any more? Of, no, I don't have that much stuff. Uh, without being slightly aware of um, what kind of a job that the movie's doing on things like that, on diversity and all of that. Because you do hope that they're going to do better, like, there's no reason to not do better. So it's, uh, at any rate, it's always a, a, a thought in the back of my mind. It's like, yeah, let's, do, let's do a good job of this one, let's not uh, make another bro movie. We don't, the world doesn't need more of those. Alright, um... I think that's pretty good. I don't know when the island stuff comes up. And I mean, we've got, yeah. I guess I should harvest this. We'll harvest all these. So I think I'm probably going to just try to make clothing out of the stuff I have left. I was just going to gather up a, a little bit of extra cloth to see. And then uh, I think I'm going to have to start sort of systematically going through it here. Um, Probably got about another one more harvest and one more kegging, I would think. And uh, that's, we're not going to, I don't think I'm quite going to get caught up in this game. I always thought, oh, maybe we'll uh, actually get caught up, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm always going to be just, I think if I played another like 10 episodes <laughs> after I'm done, I would probably get caught up, uh, which is, uh, that's how life goes, isn't it? You never quite get caught up. Um... But I think that's that's fine enough. I'm, I'll be happy with the amount of stuff we get done. But as I was saying last time, I think I've I've definitely learned a lot about uh, the let's playing process, and I feel like I'm reasonably better at doing it. And it's been a, it's been fun learning in with this game, and I think it's been an, uh, because I've gotten to know the game fairly well. Although I still there's a million things I forget constantly because there's just this game is everything. It's it's so vast. Um, but because of that, uh, that, you know, that getting to, uh, to learn over it and, uh, doing multiple series on it, it's been both a relaxing way to get to learn, but yeah, it's, it's fun because it's enjoying, uh, recording this has always been enjoyable. It's always been one of the most relaxing series because it's, it's not work, it's just play. And when I do a series where it feels like work, I, I can't do it for too long because that defeats the point of why I do this. I, I'm not in this for the money. <laughs> Trust me. I think uh, most people that do Let's Plays now, you're doing it because it's it's fun. It's an, it, You're playing games anyway, and it's an enjoyable thing to do, and it's fun. Uh, I, I don't play like multiplayer, but there, there's a kind of multiplayer element almost in doing Let's Plays because of the comments and feedback and... Uh, it is kind of like you're sharing that gaming experience with people, and it, it is a kind of community. And I've, I've enjoyed that compo component of it quite a bit. I think that's grown as I've done the series. I've found more of that uh, as an enjoyable part of the process. Like I said, for the first few years, comments were off, so I didn't even... I was operating in a vacuum, which I... It, it yeah, it does feel weird to have gone that long... Um, without kind of any kind of input or whatever. Um, there we go. Okay, let's put these away. So yeah, there's a you know couple thousand. <laughs> couple thousand. Sounds ridiculous. But it does it has been a fun thing to get feedback from everybody and kind of play as a, a, a giant multiplayer. So that's what every series doing this has been like. So definitely I've learned what I like about doing Let's Plays and it's, it, you know, part of the joy is the comments and the feedback and the input and sharing, you know, that having that shared experience with everyone, which, yeah, I, I didn't expect that to be a part that I would really enjoy as much. 
So that's been kind of cool. But this game has been, I think, critical to all of that. So even though I'll be uh, wrapping this series up, it, it's hard to imagine not doing more um, Stardew. <laughs> like, it's hard to imagine just, like, never playing Stardew. I, you know, like, I feel like I'm always going to be recording Stardew. It's, it, even once I'm done Beach Series, I'll still be doing Expanded for a while. And then there'll be, you know, modding will be easier. And then there'll be, like, crazier mods, or, you know, just somebody will do something totally left field with modding. It'll be Stardew Doom or whatever, you know, like there's going to be just something new to do. So it does feel like a framework uh, for fun as opposed to being just a game now. And that's going to be really cool to see what uh, comes of all that. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's always going to be a part of the channel. I can't imagine not playing Stardew. But uh, it's still amazing to see what people have done because it does feel like a fresh game. Uh, when I've played different things. Um, as for playing vanilla straight through again, I, I could definitely do it. I think I'd have to have a weird... I would set an odd objective, and it would be more of like... Uh, I would be more speed runny ish Like, I would be like, let's see if we can make, you know, uh, whatever, a million dollars from selling whatever. Uh, difficult to pro process item X. And then trying to find a path through to doing that or something like that. I don't think I would do a straight up playthrough. Wouldn't do a completionist run. So it would be some kind of novel way of approaching the material, I think. Okay, let's go. Um, it's, yeah, it's like, where do I even want to go with this stuff now? Where am I dumping it all? Robin. Yeah, I've got a still put a tile down there. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, there's my coffee beans. Yeah, there's, no, there's a lot to do, especially now that I've dumped down, like, uh, a couple thousand pieces of fruit. Uh, part of me still is kind of wondering if maybe I should have done, you know, some cooking with the, uh, whatever it is here. It's not the seafoam pudding, no, it's the, the other tropical one. Here we go. Yeah, no, that well, okay, we got mango, coconut, rice. Yeah, this is the thing. Banana, milk, sugar. The thing is, is it takes so much of other ingredients. I think that's what kept me from doing it. I think I'll end up just smelting it all down. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so this is all good. Um, make some more pineapple jelly there. And I probably... Uh, We've got a gajillion, I don't know, I'm assuming I have grapes for t-shirting. Oh, I don't even have a hoe. What am I trying to do? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, I've got diamonds. I should collect my diamonds. All right. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll definitely always be doing Stardew, but it's... It is amazing, like, I, I just can't believe I've gone as far into this game as I have, and when I had plans to build things or to, like, um, you know, cover areas, I thought it would be a lot easier. <laughs> like, I did not, I did not anticipate that it would be as, oh, right, is this the night I didn't quite finish? Is that all this is? So I've now totally messed this up. Yeah, yeah, I've messed this up completely. <laughs> yeah, right there, that. That's good. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it would be... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my brain just died because I was like, oh, man. <laughs> it bothers me to, to mess the order up. I didn't think I would uh, possibly get as much um, stuff in this game. So I thought we would be quicker at uh, getting things filled. That's what I'm kind of thinking, like... The whole process of like, yeah, having uh, different zones uh, for different purposes, and I, I thought, oh, we'll we'll blow through that. That'll be no big deal. It turns out it was quite a big deal, and it was a lot more work than I expected. Um, but it was cool. I, I think that uh, was an eye-opening amount of work. I think we could have got there a lot sooner if I like if I had been buying resources earlier on. Um, 
a lot of it was, you know, part of the fun in doing a lot of what we did, like, you know, the Crystallarium quarry, was just doing it with the resources we had, uh, we got access to naturally, which I, instead of buying everything, and I thought that was a fun restriction. Um, I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> again, it's just, it's so much work. Uh, unless I was doing a weird playthrough that was attempting to be restricted in its, you know, nature, then I would try that. But, yeah... Uh, okay, let's... I'm gonna take everything out of here. Uh, I can't even, like, there's just so much stuff. Like, what, what I'm kind of in the process of is just trying to, like, kind of wrap things up here with our inventory and, uh, consolidate and all of that stuff. So, part of me is thinking, like, okay, I need to move these things together. So let's do that a little bit. Okay, so what do I have here that I want to really deal with? Um, yeah, okay, so I've got the, tr the artifacts, the treasures. Again, I could just be maybe bringing the sewing machine in here and we'll go to town. Right, I've got some weapons and stuff, so I'm going to put leave the weapons here because those are fine. Uh, and then this is sort of my mining stuff, isn't it? It's a lot of that. Uh, the magma caps and all that, those are... Just put those in my resource chest here. The same with the grape. I don't know that I did have a grape. Um, and then in terms of the fishy stuff here, you know, I'm going to put, I think, this row here. And in terms of this fishy stuff, let's put this stingrays over here. Uh, cactus seeds. Yeah, I figured we had some of that. Okay, a little bit of that. Um, and we've got these other seeds. I don't know what to do with those. Got some other animal resources. So yeah, we've got the duck feather and then I must have a rabbit foot or something. So let's go see what we've done with all of this stuff here. Okay, so we have 172 cloth. That might cut it now, I think. It's gonna be pretty good. Um, okay, so, I, yeah, I do have a rabbit foot. There we go. There's a duck feather. Um, I, that's another interesting one. Yeah, the seeds, I don't know if the seeds will do anything. And the, hold the phone. Did I, oh, the food is the, that's a granola bar. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to have a, check my, We'll put the seeds here. I'll sell this thing. And I'm assuming I have a granola bar in the house already. So that's good. We cleared that out. A little bit of, again, just consolidating everything here. Right, and then we've got a bunch of wine to put in the basement when that's done, whenever that is done. It's a little while. All right, and I don't think I had anything down in here. Nope. It's two tired children ready for sleep. All right, it's coming along here, and uh, I get, I'm gonna have to start making stuff soon. Um, we'll see how that goes. I, we're gonna maybe be able to make quite a bit. I'm betting I'm gonna use up a lot of the uh, the, the blanks that I have there, my t-shirt blanks that I'm gonna have to sew. Oh, so much sewing. All right, we'll see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.